Obelisk is now a very open culture. Um, and we really honestly believe that sharing, remixing uh, is the wave of the future. And that expertise doesn't lie within the halls of Autodesk, it lies everywhere else in the field where people are actually designing. And the first step really is to think about, um, you know, kind of taking down the wall um, that prevents customers from actually leveraging all the knowledge that we've kind of held behind closed doors. We were essentially saying if you contribute any information at all, that becomes our property. But, you know, that's a little bit like saying, I'm going to hold a potluck dinner and I get to keep all the leftovers and the containers you brought it in on. Um, you know, who wants to come to that party or who wants to contribute? You know, things like copyright laws and trademarks have gotten in the way, frankly, um, of a lot of that. And it was never really Autodesk's intent to protect and sort of hold close, you know, our learning materials. And so what we wanted to do is say, okay, well, who out there what kind of companies, what is there to offer to really create a licensing model that allows us to do this? And that's where Creative Commons came into play. Autodesk reached out and said that we're interested in, in, in exploring what we might be able to do with Creative Commons licenses, specifically around all the educational assets that we have. They wanted to enable that information to be available even more broadly than it already was. It suddenly creates this dialogue and creates this community that wouldn't exist otherwise. So it's this sort of funny paradox that in removing the need to engage with me to ask for permission, uh, you're actually inviting me to a different kind of engagement and a different kind of collaboration. That feeling of sharing that feeling of saying, it's, it's out there, it's yours, you can use it, do what you want. That just fosters a sense of collaboration, you know, that we are not trying to restrict what they can know about the product or, or anything like that. We're just willing to let them have it. The notion that that information is shareable and reusable and doesn't belong to Autodesk becomes a catalyst for all of this accelerating and blooming and becoming a much, much bigger thing than probably we can envision in the long run. So I really feel that content can only get better uh, when there's interaction with the community. Over time, uh, you can start to imagine is like once you light the fire, the fire spreads and takes off. Everything has got a badge around it saying that this is now freely open and uh, to please reuse it and share it back with whatever it is you do.